Alright, buddy, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but fish don't belong on land. So, like, move along. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit hard on the mud skipper. If any fish is going to be out of water, it has to be this one. It's marvelously adapted to life on land. So much so that some species spend more of their time out of water than in it. First off, those fins. They actually have a shoulder joint and another joint a bit below that. Add a lot of muscle, and the fin gives the mud skipper surprising speed and dexterity. But then we have the whole issue of a fish breathing out of water. The mud skipper's got that covered too. Those adorable cheeks are so chubby because they're filled with water. In these chambers, the water makes constant contact with the gills, allowing the mud skipper to breathe on land. Now, take a look at those peepers. Because they're on top of the mud skipper's head, the fish gets a commanding view of its surroundings, including other mud skippers to fight with over territory. Those big fins let them signal to each other, essentially like a giant middle finger. Yeah, that's right. Keep walking, pal. On your fins. Your fins beautifully adapted for a terrestrial lifestyle. <laughs>